couldn't do it. He's just too vulnerable, like one of those babies you find in bins. I've got writer's block. Were you listening to what I was just saying? Yeah, he's a bin baby. Now help me write a song. Not until you help me speak to Dad. I know. Let's write a song about it. <laughs> That's a great idea. Restraining order. Restraining order. Don't take away my happiness, you bitch. Whoa, whoa. What? Too much. I mean, I could say which. It's not as good, but it rhymes. But maybe I should just write a letter. Letters are for pussies. They say a great letter has the strength of a thousand punches. Yeah, a pussy said that. Aren't you worried about being out in public like this? Someone could see us. Not in this neighbourhood. I mean, the chances of seeing some of the... Shit, it's Bruce. Get down. Hey! Andy! Bruce? What are you doing in these parts? Ah, just moved around the corner, going around collecting the local menu. Why do you want to move around here? It was about your wife kicked you out or something. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Me and Claire's getting a divorce. You know, everyone's getting divorced these days. They're everywhere. They're like Cadbury's cream eggs in March. How's it going with you? Yeah, cranking out the hips. Sorry about the whole Errol thing. Not fussed, really. Kid was cramping my style. <coughs> Hemorrhoids. You have company. Blind date, Lola. She's been in the toilet for ages, but she says the first day is her heaviest flow. Better leave you to it. <laughs> And say hi to Sam for me. Yep. <laughs> Tiffany said her mum cheated on him with a male hairdresser. Ouch. That's like a vegan stealing your hot dog. Oh, I ordered poached eggs, not scrambled. Scrambled eggs don't have definitive borders. Then say something. No, it's fine. Look, if you don't speak up for yourself now, you're never going to speak up for yourself. And then what are you going to be? You're just going to be invisible. I wouldn't mind being invisible. I could sneak into the science museum without anyone noticing. That's what you do with invisibility. Yeah, well, what would you do? Doesn't matter. Look, if you don't tell the waiter that he got your order wrong, then how do you expect to stand up to your dad? Excuse me? Um, hi, uh, Jeremy. Um, I ordered poached eggs. These appear to be scrambled. Getting changed. No, no, Jeremy, I'm missing the point. If you'd been listening when I ordered, we wouldn't find ourselves in this mess. The craft of good service is an art in many cultures. You could be an artist, Jeremy. So how about you take a little pride in your job, hmm? Sorry, sir. Don't be sorry. Be better. How was that? Maybe you should just write a letter. How's this gonna help? You need to detox your mind and your body to get your confidence back. I'm confident. I went on a Boris boat the other day. Do you know how hard it is to look cool on one of those things? Your imagination's in a rut, and we're gonna free it. Yeah, that's what alcohol's for. High in trans fat, high in sodium, high in sugar. How often do you get exercise per week? Please, this body takes care of itself. Zero exercise. No, no, not the cigarettes. Name one good thing about smoking. It makes me look cool. <sighs> high in sugar. High in. I was just high. Do you get regular bowel movements? What's that got to do with anything? Regular BMs. When was the last time you were intimate with a lady? Now, a gentleman never tells. Eight months and 23 days, all right? And that completes the questionnaire. I'm going to prepare a food and exercise regimen for you. And in the meantime, no drinking, smoking, fast food, or any sexual activity of any kind. It keeps the mind focused. I'm focused. Now let's play video games. What are you doing? Eliminating distractions. Don't take my PlayStation. I need it. For what? Company. No! Ah!